This video is in sponsorship with Teddy Blake. Good morning. Good morning. Well, today is a beautiful day. Good morning. Good morning. Too. Good morning, good people. Little backdrop situation. I'm trying to get in my TikTok back. I've been feeling inspired lately. The little stuff that I already know I'm going to do in my daily life, I'm just like, hmm, let me pick up the camera. I have work in approximately an hour, and it does take about a good 30 minutes for me to get where I'm going, so I do need to hurry up. I don't really need to do my makeup. I just feel like I should because... Y'all, I've been in a hair funk. As seen per my last video, I cut my hair off again. I should have just left my hair alone and just put another wig back on and let it continue to grow out until I could like go to like an African hair braiding shop and they braid my hair. But no, I'm so freaking impatient. I just was impulsive and cut it off, which I still don't regret cutting it off. I just wish I hadn't bleached it so soon because i did everything in the same day i feel like my hair is growing at a very very slow rate it is still growing clearly because i get my face to a bald and clearly i have hair growing. but it's not growing as fast as it used to because it's almost been a month on sunday it will literally be a official month since i got my hair cut this is how it usually looks week one by week three I prayed so hard. I said, God, please don't let me be bald-headed. Please, Lord, I swear I will not bleach my hair ever, ever again. Let it grow. So as you can see, I took the blue out. The wave look, I don't like with dark hair. I don't know why. On me. On me. Clarify. I don't know what it is. It's just, it doesn't suit me cutely. So, basically, what I've done is just picked it out. And I do got edges at the top. So, yes, I like my edges. Edges in the fade is crazy, but this is what we're working with. Yeah, y'all. This will be my first time doing my makeup since that, literally. This will be my first time doing my makeup since I went to see that guy that I can't speak about anymore because um, apparently he's demonic. For the sake of the Lord, cut. One thing about me, I don't play by my Jesus, period. And anything that is going to lead me to death, harm, and destruction, sweetie, it's gone. It's a goner. Therefore, a lot of things have been cut out of my life that I thought were going to be here for a long time and i'm not mad at or about any of it because i know that everything is working for my good and i refuse to be a super irresponsible adult like you know sometimes you you do have that little yolo mentality but like no breaking generational curses and struggles with money and how we live our life i am gonna put a wig on not today i've literally let my hair sit out like this for a week which is long for me because I would have plopped that wig on the same night usually. But I tested myself. I went to school with my hair like this and everything else. And obviously nobody cares. But like, you know how you just be in your own head. This is going to be super light. I work at a restaurant. I don't need no face beat. I just need a little something just to feel pretty -er. prettier. I do my makeup a little different every time I try to do like a natural face just to see what really works. I haven't found the perfect combo just yet, but it's coming. I know it is. Sun is out. The vintage makeup look. It literally looks like I don't have no makeup on my face, okay? It just kind of like I got makeup on because of the lip that I chose, but I'm about to change it because it's just, it's too deep for this soft look. But anyway, I'll put my glasses on. I want to wear these are my other green ones mm. Mm. these babies right here popped up out of the ordinary i haven't worn these in years since my like 20th birthday and so two years ago hmm those are so pretty i think i like it good morning happy sunday i injured myself at work i quite literally almost split my finger entirely open but instead of splitting it entirely open i merely cut between a part of my nail and a part of my flesh so that's fun we going to church we going to church we going to church i have a wig on and i did that little stocking method that i did when i went to vegas to keep the bundle or the dress is straight. Hopefully it worked. That hair was Brazilian. This one's Cambodian. So I don't know if the method works depending on the hair type. But I hope it worked. Lord, I ain't got time to have to straighten it. Anyway, let me show you what we're wearing today. Got a little get ready with me action going. I told you, I'm about to get in my content bag. The entire outfit minus the bag and the shoes 
is my mom's. This sweater, and I'm gonna try to like crop it a little bit. It's just, just too, too long, sweetie. And then her, she got these black cargoes. Fire! Don't know where they're from, cause it ain't no tag, but. I have these mule dupes. These are from Etsy, bag Amazon. I've been really liking tying my bags, but I don't know if the same method will work if it's a chain. Oh no, it works. Now if it stays, we'll be tea. Trying to decide if I'm going to do makeup or not. My skin looks really good. It's church though. I should, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a little face and then I'll leave my skin alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. I'm scared. Okay. okay, I can work with this. Y'all, this wig is three years old. The frontal is receding for sure. And the way this wig was created was not created that good. So I'll be having to finesse to make sure ain't no track showing because baby, that's embarrassing. Now the real reveal. The problem is the my cap underneath, not even the lace, it's the cap. I cut too far back on the cap and so the cap is trying to slide off and you can see it. A little up top view, as you can see, you can see that cap, but it's okay. And aside of the fact of that, I'm okay to go outside. I look okay to see the world. Purr. Here's to the finished look. Let's get into this no makeup makeup though. I think this is the best I've done, not gonna lie. I feel like with the no makeup makeup, you don't really need to do lip liner or you need to do a very, very light, like, purple-esque blush lip liner and that's exactly what I did literally barely barely and I just feel like I look so clean and pretty and just that girl yeah it's laundry day please let's let's not talk about that but this is the look super cute I love these mule dupes when I get I want mine to be the authentic tab mm when I get the brown ones, but this is really cute. I feel so pretty, I'm so glad I did my makeup. I always forget to take my retainer out. I said I would stop wearing my retainer, and I always forget it, but I love it, ah. Yeah, I remember living up in my sin, so you know that I had to repent. Now I see life in a whole new way, yeah, I see life in a whole new lane. You know life was a gift from God, ain't no way that we get what do you say? Oh, hella. Lord, I love 
Tasha at oh. home. You can be recording and don't be posting. Mm, it depends. Sometimes I'll post, sometimes I will You ready to hear something? Yeah. What? What the heck is that? It feels like the toes got his own Hey y'all, new day, happy Tuesday. I really need to find a new setup, but this is all I got right now. Gotta do what I have. And I have a little haul. First things up, I got my waiting season book by Renaya Henry. She and her sister have a podcast called The Soft Life Through Christ, In Christ, Soft Life Through Christ, In Christ. I don't know why I have a brain fart right now. That's crazy. This is her first ever published document. So I'm excited to get into it, really. Next, I got these cute little covers for my straws because honestly, I thought about it. Like when I have to go to somewhere I'm in class and I can't like necessarily leave my cup in the classroom and I have to run it in the bathroom real quick and like all the germs and contamination just in public places, period, even when I'm at work. So like just to put it on top of my straw to cover my straw from contamination. Smart, love it. So my hand is messed up, which is horrible timing for my freaking finger to be messed up. I got some press-ons that I wanted to wear this month because I knew I was gonna install this wig and I just feel like it's, it's cute vibe, which I think I'm just gonna be like, forget it and put them on anyway, even though one finger is just not gonna have a nail, but like, it's fine. It's fine. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm gonna be talking a little bit quiet because my aunt and my cousin are over there asleep. I just finished my makeup. So cute. I got a surprise. Mm, mm, mm. I have a package. It's from Teddy Blake. <gasps> so cute. So I get they let me choose a bag. Thank you, Teddy Blake, for sponsoring this video. They let me select a bag. I gave them like three or four options. I'll put them on the screen of the ones I liked, but I said pick for me and surprise me. I actually have no idea what bag this is. Like even with the tracking, I did not check nothing. Like literally, I don't even know which bag they picked. My camera's about to die, so I'm trying to hurry up. So let's see what they gave us today. Okay. I'm wearing it to church today, which is why I'm hoping it. <gasps> so, so cute. Okay, so this is the strap. You can, of course, wear it like this. Go and extend to one. Make it crossbody. Shirt is from Hanifa. The struggle of trying to get a Pandora bracelet on, like a fresh one. It act like it just has to have somebody put it on for you. I'm determined to get this on though. Even if I'm late, Lord, you know me. I'm getting it on. But I tell you, I was getting it on. I'm gonna just put my stuff inside this bag. We'll talk more about the bag later. Let's see what all I can fit in this bag. Lippies, wallet, hair parts and charger. So y'all know I took the best laying out. It fit in there, but like it would have been harder to close it. Nail glue, cause baby, just in case. And I think that's all I need today. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. We'll get into it.
Before we get into a word, let's get into this bag. Thank you again, Teddy Blake, for sponsoring this video. This is the Cleo Vitello yellow bag. It comes in an ample amount of colors, but the yellow just was tea, okay? This retail traditional value of $1,110 on the site is $375, currently on a deal for $340. Let's get into the details. Do you see the embellishment of this bag? Also, the chain is, of course, a beautiful, like, gold. Almost like a three-octave embellishment in the front so that you could buckle it whichever one that you want, depending on how stuff your bag is so you could of course wear this as a shoulder bag and or a crossbody i am a crossbody girl so that's how it gives but check the description box i do have a discount code and direct link to this bag yeah check it out there is pain in the valley i don't like it there is suffering in the valley there is disappointment in the valley there is trauma and drama in the valley but I don't have any control on that. We all know, and I assume that all of us at one time or another have has quoted Romans 8, 28, that all things work together for the good to them that are the called according to his purpose. That God is ultimately working all things out for our good. Be it good or bad, right or wrong. The valley humbles us and propels us to the next level of grace. The valley enables us to see the glory of God. For Ezekiel gets a victorious message and receives an encouraging word from God in a cemetery. He receives blessing at the grave site. He receives vision in the midst of a terrible, terrible situation. How many of you have gone through and been at your weakest moment and been beat up and torn down. How many of you have cried and cried and cried and been hurting and suffering? How many of you have been frustrated and upset and ready to throw in the towel and all of a sudden God picks up the towel and gently lays it back in your lap and begins to tell you that I am with you. I love you. It's going to be all right. Get back in the race. Get up from the floor. Get back on the horse and ride, ride, ride. Okay, let me turn my heat off real quick just so I can get this off of here because it's just stuck in my brain right now. After service, I decided that mm, I'm going to treat myself to a beverage. That beverage ended up turning into brunch. <laughs> But I didn't even dine in brunch. Like, I got it to go. Even though, as long as it took for me to receive it, I should have just dined in. And this would have happened if I did. So, the young lady who sat me, of course, she was at the front desk. It's very beautiful. I don't think she was the owner, but she was very, very gorgeous. And I told her, of course, it's just me. So, at the, I went to the Latte Lounge. If you're in the St. Louis area, it's literally right there. At the Latte Lounge, they have, like, swing like a swing bar so at the bar it's like swing chairs very very cute first time going there not first time there but first time at the bar this is my first time going here by myself i get to the swings i order my beverage which i'm gonna show y'all and then the lady comes back to me like after a little while and she's like did you order your food i'm just like yeah She's like, did you pay for it? I'm like, yeah. Like, I was like so confused. I was like not thinking of anything. I'm just like, yes. And she was like, oh, like someone wanted to pay for your meal. I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. And I like kind of slick turned, but not really. I should have asked her who it was. And then she's talking about some, uh, tell them refund it. And I was like, I'm dead. Cause like, I'm not about to do that. But like, I just think it's so, so wonderful to have nice people out in the world who would do stuff like that. Like, I don't know if that was like a romantic gesture or just genuinely just to be nice on some stuff. I don't, because I have no idea who it even was. Something Emmy wants me to go back in there and be like, eh, who was, who was that trying to pay for my meal? So I can at least tell them thank you for the attempt type of thing. But I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> even though I really want to go to it. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna go do it, but I just thought that was just so sweet and so nice. Like, you was gonna pay for my meal and I shouldn't even been spending. It's okay, I appreciate the thought. But I ended up getting chicken and waffles and then I got a split beverage that they offered, 12 ounce on both sides. So this is a lavender matcha latte and then this is a cinnamon espresso latte, both with oat milk. The matcha one, surprise, I'm trying something new because y'all know I'm a brown sugar matcha girl through and through. But it's actually good. It's actually really good. I like things with lavender. Like kava has like a lavender drink something. And so when I went to Alabama, this is my first time having kava and I had that and it was so good. And so I was like, hmm. My next thing is I'm gonna try a pistachio matcha. And so we're going to see what that gets. But yeah, this is good. And of course, the espresso bev is fire. I did that to be safe, really. But yeah, I just had to tell y'all my little story. I swear, I really want to go back in there and ask that lady, like, who was it? Like, honestly, who was it? Who was it? But the makeup still eat. The makeup still on beat. Mm, mm, mm. I was going to go to this other church's service, but it started at 12.15. And it's definitely way over 12.15. I'm like 30 minutes away. So by the time I get over there... It's no way, but I will be at service on Tuesday. I do think I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week, life, day, month. November is upon us. If this is not already posted in November, cheers to new beginnings, cheers to fresh starts. Remember God loves you. I love you. Jesus loves you. That sounds cringy, but I'm so serious. If you're not in your word, get in your word because baby, you're gonna need it. You need to be equipped with your shield of armor, honey. And I'm gonna get into these chicken and waffles at my house. Thank you. Bye, y'all.